Dear friends, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. We understand that Cloudera is a commercial distribution of Hadoop. So what is Hadoop? So if you are able to answer what is Hadoop, well and good. So if you don't understand what is Hadoop, it is very difficult to learn or master Cloudera. So I'm taking a few minutes to elaborate the Hadoop ecosystem. So first of all, what is Apache Hadoop? So Apache Hadoop project develops open source software for reliable, scalable, and distributed computing. So Hadoop is an open source. It is an open source framework that allows for the distributed processing of large data sets across clusters of computers using simple programming models. So that is Hadoop in short. So as you see, this ecosystem has masters and slaves. It is designed to scale up from a single server to thousands of machines, each offering local computation and storage. So as you see, many computers, each one has local computation and storage. You know, the core of Hadoop consists of storage unit known as Hadoop Distributed File System. Remember that Hadoop Distributed File System. That's called HDFS. It is the base of it. That's where the storage is happening. Then the processing part which is called MapReduce Programming Model. So two things, HDFS and MapReduce. So a little bit about the Hadoop ecosystem. So when you hear about Hadoop ecosystem, you don't think it is just a Hadoop. No, it is a bunch of applications or softwares which supports data storage, data access, resource management, data management, and data processing. Someday we have already heard about some of them. See, just focus on data storage. Hadoop HDFS already mentioned like, this is the Hadoop distributed file system. So everything is based on this data storage. And we have Apache HBase. We have Apache Cassandra. So as soon as you think about Hadoop ecosystem, we should think from a storage point of view. Hadoop HDFS, it is Hadoop HBase and Cassandra. Of course, when you have data, you should have the access. Okay, how to access this data, how to process the data, how to insert, how to update, how to delete. Now we have applications like Apache Pig, Phoenix, and Apache Hive. So very important to remember with respect to data access, these three applications, Apache Pig, Phoenix, and Hive. We will explain them detail in another session. Then we have the resource management. You know, it is very important to take care of all the resources. That's where we have YAN, which is called yet another resource negotiator. That is YAN. Then coming to data management, of course, we deal with petabyte of data. So the data management, the quality, the governance is very important. So we have Zookeeper and we have Apache Abari. So they take care of the data management. Then we have the data processing layer. So the huge data will be processed using a simple programming model called Hadoop MapReduce. Then Mahout and Apache Spark. So first, when you hear about Hadoop ecosystem, you should think about the data storage, data access, resource management, data management, and data processing. We have a couple of applications to support this data. So coming to the Hadoop cluster architecture, we see that we have master node and we have worker nodes. And within the master node, you can see name node. 
the master server that manages the files system namespace and regulates access to files by client so it maintains the file system tree and the metadata for all the files and directories this information is stored in memory for fast access that's that's called name node then we have the secondary name node it's a helper to the name node that performs housekeeping functions like periodic merging of namespace and edit logs then if you look at the worker node you can see data node these are the slave nodes that store the actual data a hdfs cluster typically has large number of data nodes and each node stores a portion of the file system data okay and finally you see there is something called map reduce what's map reduce this is a processing or computation layer so a job tracker this is a master of the map reduce system which manages the resource allocation and tracks the resource the job scheduling and monitoring job and we have yan yet another resource negotiator the resource manager the resource manager is the master that arbitrates all the available cluster resources and does help in managing the distributed application running on yan system i hope this will really help you understand hadoop cluster architecture So in this video I just covered the architecture the ecosystem and the Hadoop cluster and the details about what is Apache Hadoop I hope this will help you to understand Apache Hadoop better and this cloudera thank you